If we can reduce the amount of fuel our vehicles use by 30, 40, 50 percent, you know, that's half of the fuel convoys we now have to protect. So that's half the casualties we're going to risk. Uh, that's half the amount of combat forces we're pulling away from the fight. And whether or not it's uh, trucks going through uh, austere terrain or whether it's ships trying to cross the Pacific, uh, those are long fuel lines that all have to be guarded. So by doing what we're doing, by decreasing the fuel, by hybridizing our tactical vehicles um, and cutting their fuel use, we're actually increasing the capabilities of our soldiers and providing them better protection. The big change here is that climate change is not just, okay, something nice to do or something that we have to incorporate into that large uh, enterprise that we have. It's also something that's shaping the strategic environment, the threat environment, how we operate, where we operate. And this strategy is taking all of that into account. 